Dear Jack, I emailed you two hours ago and you still haven't responded. I put my name, order number and phone number on it. You sent my sunglasses three weeks ago and I only just got them. There probably was a problem at the post office or something. I hate to tell you this, but when I opened up the package, the shade of blue on the glasses wasn't precisely what I wanted. Anyway, it's not a big deal. I'm a big fan, by the way. I'm also a patient man. I look forward to hearing from you soon. I'm sure it'll all be okay. Dear Jack, still no email. I hope you do that soon. It's been more than a day now and I don't know what to do. The shade of blue sickens me and it doesn't match my hat. I can't believe that you still haven't bothered to send me an email back. I'm not that mad though. I just don't like being lied to. Remember when you made that video with the slightly different shade of blue? Come on Jack, that's what I expected. It's been more than a day now and I feel like I've been neglected. I'm kind of like you in a way. I like making things. I like biscuits. I once met someone who runs a small business. I would treat my customers nicely. You could learn a thing or two from me. If I don't hear from you soon, I'll be the biggest fan you'll ever lose. P.S. I'd like to work for you one day too. Dear Mr. I like to treat my customers badly, otherwise known as Jack. I found the returns label in the package and I've sent the glasses back, but I ripped off one of the arms and guess what? I'm keeping it. I can't wear them when they're that colour and I sure as hell don't want you to profit by selling them on to someone else. This could have been so different. I wanted some cool handmade sunglasses and you've gone and ruined it. I'm patient. Where's my refund? There's a bad review coming your way to tell everybody about this and I hope you have a very bad day.